My name is Madhu Vishwanathan. I'm a new faculty member at the Indian School of Business. Uh, I teach the digital and social media marketing uh, course there. Uh, my research interests are broadly in the area of uh, retail, healthcare, and in general, uh, anything to do with distribution channels, uh, which is how to organize your firm to meet consumer demands uh, in terms of price, product, place, promotion. I think analytics and AI has a transformative uh, effect on all of these things uh, in the sense that firms nowadays are using it to power up how they you know, optimize their supply chain, you know, how to get the product uh, cheaper and to the right customer at the right place at the right time. So there's a lot of AI and analytics that is transforming industries both on the supply side uh, and also on the demand side in terms of you know, how to target the customers, how do I reach the right customer and the right product. So it works both ways. Uh, so it is completely transforming both sides of the market. I think we do have a good uh, framework. So a lot of us are mathematically oriented. Uh, we need to move into a more statistical approach, uh, which lets us understand the nature of data, uh, which then will help us move into you know, an AI and a skill development. Uh, I, I think we can be very good at imitating what has been done, uh, but we have the talent to be better than that, uh, in the sense that given our backgrounds, you know, the skill gap can be addressed by having much more of a focus on statistics and an applied perspective uh, on data. Yes, a very an applied uh, approach will uh, help in that regard, right? And I think to build that ecosystem, though, you need to have a buy-in from everybody. Um, uh, in terms of firms working with uh, uh, with colleges and it cannot start at the time of placement. Uh, it has to start much earlier and firms should start seeing colleges as uh, co-creators of the human resource pool, okay, uh, meeting their demands and so on. And so uh, that is the way the system can develop. Uh, the government has a role to play too and they are working on it by setting up the frameworks to aid in those, uh, but more can definitely be done. Oh, so one thing could be is to have some kind of workshops within organizations where it illustrates uh, you know, use cases of what can be done. And then the organization can figure out if those demands can be met uh, or if, if it is needed in the first place. Sometimes you may not need AI for everything you do, uh, but that would be one way. Uh, you can also, if you are somebody who uses AI and everything else, to aid skill development, you can always have a short internship programs, which would again uh, let students know what are the skill sets that are required and try to acquire them either through the organization itself or go somewhere else and figure it out. What are the focus points of your talk here? Could you uh, discuss? So at Cypher, we were talking about uh, retail analytics uh, in an omni-channel world. Uh, you know, analytics has transformed a lot of industries and uh, retail is no exception. And the best instance of that is an omni-channel setting. The idea is to provide a seamless customer experience uh, through for the customer across multiple channels. Um, so for example, customers nowadays interact with firms on the web, on mobile, and then on, uh, on in store, in person. And it is not clear what their needs and wants are from each one of these channels. And the goal of omnichannel retail is to figure out these needs and wants and to make this as one seamless customer experience. And analytics clearly can play a huge role there. Uh, but at the same time, as with all transformations, uh, there are opportunities, uh, there are challenges, and there are some responsibilities. 
And so that was, uh, that is what the talk uh, is about. I think Cypher plays a very important role because it brings together uh, people who are at the forefront of uh, some of these uh, initiatives on AI and analytics and technology with uh, people who want to adopt them or implement them in different areas. So it, it, uh, it plays an informative role and it also plays a role where people are able to network and identify the right people to connect or work with um, going forward. So in that sense, I think Cypher plays a very important role of disseminating information in this way.